All right, friends, let's speed run designing with the MCP server in Figma. So here we have a section. Uh, we have variables added to all of that, but a lot of these components are actually components inside of code. Um, and we have Code Connect that's kind of describing uh, what each of these components is. We have the buttons are in here. Uh, we also have this pill list. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use Figma's dev mode MCP server to implement this inside of our app. So right now, here's our app. It's a nice little website with a header and a footer and nothing else. Um, and the code for it is right here. Um, so we could say hello right there. And when we switch over here, we'll see hello shows. Up. So this is where we want to inject this section in Figma, um, but using our components in the code base. So let's do it. Uh, we can come down here and see that the dev mode MCP server is enabled. Uh, we're using the default server settings um, and let's just give this a crack. So I've opened up Copilot already. Uh, let's delete hello. Uh, and then I've already included this right here is our prompt. We're just calling the get code for noter selection tool on the Figma dev mode MCP server. Uh, and then we're saying call that, then implement it in uh, this app file right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit return. And we'll see that Copilot is working. Uh, okay, so it wants to use the, the Figma dev mode MCP server tool that is called get code for noter selection. Let's give that a confirmation here and we can inspect here we could see it did get all the variables if it needs them that's fantastic uh, because we have code syntax on them uh, and it also includes kind of like a react and and uh, tailwind version of everything that's in figma including uh, code connect information that we do have um, and so right now it's going to go ahead and search the code base and this is the fun part this is where we get to just sit here and talk for a little bit about how cool this is. Um, we're using Claude Sonnet 4, which is, just came out. Super cool stuff there. Um, oh, it's going to be using our responsive hook in React, which is fantastic, as well as our layout components. Um, I do have some Copilot instructions for how to think about layout uh, when you get data from Figma. It looks like it's going to respect that. Uh, fantastic. So it's already spitting out a pricing page, which is wonderful. Looks like it's using media query. It's setting state for monthly and yearly, which is important. So it's inferring that there needs to be a state switch here, which is pretty cool. Uh, it also looks like it's grabbing our pricing context, uh, which is fantastic. Um, pricing context is simulating, getting the pricing options from the database. I'm going to tell Copilot to continue there. Um, so if you can, if you think about this, right, each of these cards is representing data that would probably be coming from the database. Um, so I have that stubbed out in the simple design system working directory that I, I'm using right now. Um, and so it's able to pick that up, which is pretty cool. It's saying, let me run the development server. That's already running. So I'm going to hit cancel and let's see what it does. Fantastic. Uh, let's keep everything here save we'll just make sure we're doing the right import here let's give it up oh, there we go fantastic so all of the components that we're looking for are being used um, one thing to note we're in dark mode in our browser but we're in light mode inside of figma that's a feature here um, and it's also interesting that like some of these prices and which one is featured all of that is kind of changing between what it coded and what's in figma uh, and that's because it's using the actual data um, and so the actual data in the code base is saying that this third one should be kind of the the prioritized one as opposed to the middle one um, and then the language and all of that, any differences there are also coming from the database as well. So pretty cool stuff. That's the demo MCP server. Um, we're in an open beta now if you want to go check it out. Um, but we're really eager to hear what design context means to you and what use cases you have for design context in uh, your agentic coding tools and the different ways in which you're wanting to engage with Figma information um, as you're authoring code. All right. Thank you so much.